Good morning. Today I'm going to do a rear brake job on my 2017 Cadillac XT5. And to do that, you have to put the uh, rear brakes into service mode. So to do that, I'm going to step on my brake and then I'm going to press and hold the parking brake. And I'm going to wait about 10 or 15 seconds. Now this is important. My foot is still on the brake.
Well, I've been working on uh, the brakes on my Cadillac 2017 XT5. And uh, the front brakes went fine, absolutely no problem at all. But I got into the back brakes and I was able to put my car into uh, rear brake service mode, which is supposed to retract the pistons on the parking brake for you, all right? Supposed to. So I started doing my back brake job and uh, everything was going along quite fine and I couldn't retract the piston. I couldn't compress it. And then for some reason, the next thing I knew, okay, and this is crazy, the piston came right out of the caliper, it came right out of the caliper, just out. And then the fluid started pouring out of the rear brake on the uh, driver's side. It was a disaster. Uh, at that point, I knew I wasn't going anywhere. And uh, after taking a deep breath, I, was, I managed to clean off that uh, piston and get the rubber onto it and get the piston back in place into the caliper. Now, and then I saw that I have, there's a little star in there that travels with that motor, that parking brake motor. So I spun that down by hand, got the caliper uh, piston back in, and actually was able to compress it by hand. At that point, there was a lot of brake fluid on the ground. <clears throat> and uh, obviously a lot of air had gotten into the brake system. So, I, I finished the rear. I finished the rear brakes on the on the driver's side, put everything back together, and uh, I went and worked on the rear passenger side, knowing that I had a disaster on the on the driver's side rear. At that point, I, I went through the whole brake job, no matter what, and I couldn't compress the piston on the on the driver's side. On the passenger side, I mean, I'm sorry. On the passenger side, I could not compress the piston. So everything else was done. I had to put the old pads on the uh, passenger rear wheel just to get just to get the caliper back in place so I could put the tire on it and move the car until I could figure out a different plan. And uh, <clears throat> I was doing more research on the internet. And uh, I'm the one that messed up and I didn't read through the instructions and I was getting a little hesitant and probably tired because I'm older. But anyway, uh, the next day I, I rolled the car out and I, I've got no, my pedal's right to the floor. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. And then I, I rolled that out. I went, took my wife's car and bought a brake bleeder tool because I knew I had air in the system and some new brake fluid. <laughs> Long story short, but the long story is never really short. I ended up uh, <clears throat> taking a, taking the back uh, caliper off. Then there's uh, two five millimeter hex uh, screws that hold the engagement motor on to that rear caliper. You remove those two screws, okay, and you take a five millimeter Allen's uh, Allen Allen sock at wrench. And you just you just turn clockwise in the caliper until it until it stops. Then you can press the piston in without a problem, which I wish I had done on the other one. Uh, at that point, I was able to put the new pads on, get everything back into place, ready to roll. Now, at that point, I had to bleed the brakes. Absolutely had had to bleed the brakes because I had no I had no pedal. <laughs> So on the Cadillac, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, bleed the brakes in this order. You're gonna bleed uh, rear passenger, rear driver, front passenger, front driver. Now I never bled brakes before, all right? So uh, I bought the brake bleeding kit, you know, the one with the hand pump. And the hand pump really wasn't doing <clears throat> anything. I mean, it was slow progress. I would, I would be doing this all day long and really getting hardly anywhere. 
So what I did was I uh, made sure that the reservoir in the front of the car, in, in the master cylinder, you make sure that that stays uh, filled with fluid because if you suck air in there, whatever you've done, you've already wasted and you've got to do it all over again. So I started, I started, uh, I pumped the brakes a couple of times and then the, my container on that vacuum tool was half full. Well, a couple more pumps of the brake, that was full. I, I dumped it into a windshield washer can and I went through that process a couple of times until the fluid came out clean. And then I, I locked that up, I cleaned up, put the tire back on. Uh, and then I went and did the, the side that I, I screwed up yesterday. That was fine. I, everything, everything was fine. All the dirty old fluid came out of it, air bubbles, all that stuff came out of it. Uh, I was able to lock the bleeder valve back up, put everything away, pump my brakes, 100% success. Everything's great. <clears throat> so sometimes you will jump into things and you try to hurry yourself a little bit without having all the knowledge that you should about what you're gonna run into and how you can handle it and tackle it and make sure everything's cool with it. Uh, in my case, I was on the edge of like, oh my God, I'm gonna to have to buy new rear calipers and I'm gonna to have to have my car towed to the shop and have them fix my, my goof up and uh, I was able to bail myself out of it. I'm 100% confident in my brakes. Uh, I've been driving around, everything is fine. The new rotors, I, I put on drilled and slotted rollers, rotors. First time I've ever had them. Very smooth braking, ceramic pads, so I'm not gonna get the wheels all dirty and dusty. But that's, that's the story of my brake job. So I wasn't prepared to the little twist that I didn't know about and doing the rear brakes. Had I done another 15 minutes worth of research and watching other people on YouTube videos, I wouldn't have had any of this trouble. It would have been smooth sailing, done, over with. However, the good thing that came out of this was that I was able to flush the fluid, the bad brake fluid out of my system and uh, be done with it. Now, I'm gonna show you a picture of the, the dirty brake fluid. And apparently you're supposed to take brake fluid out of your car uh, about every 60,000 miles, which I'll do from now on. But enough of me rambling. That was my horror show of my rear brake job. That was my own uh, demise and doing. And uh, check out the picture of the, uh, the dirty brake fluid right after, uh, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.